So here's the donut. In the hole in the middle is a place where people are falling short on life's essentials. Food, water, healthcare, education, housing, Wi-Fi. So we want to get everybody in the world out of that hole, nobody left falling short, into the green and lovely donut itself. But we can't overshoot its outer boundaries because there, we begin to put so much pressure on this extraordinary living planet that we kick its fundamental systems out of kilter. And I propose to you that this is a compass for the 21st century, because this is our task, to figure out how to meet the needs of all within the means of the planet. But if it's a compass, well, you want to know where the needles are pointing, and it's not pretty. On every single one of those social dimensions, millions or even billions of people are falling short. And yet, we've already overshot at least four of these planetary boundaries. Generations before us never saw this picture, right? Last century's economists and policymakers, they never saw this. They didn't see the planetary boundaries. So it's no surprise at all that their economic theories and their policies are in no way fit for taking on this task. We have to come up with our own. I think many different things need to happen to turn this story around. And, and today's students deserve to be taught an economic mindset that actually gives them half a chance of taking this on. And yet they're still taught theories drawn in the textbooks of 1950 based on ideas actually drawn up in 1850. So there's a huge change that needs to happen there.